Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Blender Layers. Blender contains a system for organizing and displaying objects on various layers. As your models become more complex and more cluttered, you may want to place certain elements on certain Blender layers and turn those layers on and off as needed. For example, here is a model of my house called 33 North Street. I have placed various parts of the model on various layers. I will turn off the active layers. I place the house frame on layer 1, the porch on layer 2, the windows and doors on layer 3, the outside grass and driveway on layer 4, the car on layer 5, the trees on layer 6, the basketball hoop, bird feeder, and mailbox on layer 7, the camera on layer 8, and the lighting on layer 9. I'll press the Z key to go into wireframe display mode. Note that I can turn on and off any individual layer which makes it easy to find and manipulate the various objects. I will open a new Blender scene. I'll leave the default cube object and I'll add a monkey object. Blender makes 20 different layers available to users. By default, Blender opens the default file with layer number 1 selected. You can see this in the Layers box indicator located on the 3D Editor viewport header. These boxes are numbered 1 through 5 and 6 through 10 in the first column and 11 through 15 and 16 through 20 in the second column. When you add a new object to Blender, it is placed in the layer that is currently active. Thus, the monkey object, the cube object, and the default camera and light are now located on layer number 1. I can switch to layer 2 by clicking in the second box in the top row of the layer indicator. Note that the cube, monkey, camera, and lamp are no longer visible. I will now add a UV sphere object. Since layer 2 was active when I added the sphere, the UV sphere is located on layer number 2. Here is layer number 1, and here is layer number 2. Now if you look closely at the layer indicator boxes, you'll see that layer number 2 is darkened, indicating that this layer is the currently active layer. Notice also that there is a small circle located in the layer 1 box and the layer 2 box. This indicates that there is at least one object located on each layer. The other 18 layers are empty. I can add the visibility for layer number 1 by holding down my shift key and left clicking the layer number 1 box. Now both layer number 1 and layer number 2 are active. To move an object from one layer to another, select the object or the objects and press the M key. Here I will select the cube object and press the M key. This displays the Move to Layer dialog box. Note that the current layer location for the cube, layer number 1, is noted by a darkened box. Here I will select layer 2 as the layer location for the cube object. Selecting the layer is all that's required. Now since layer number 2 is currently active, the cube remains displayed. Here I will turn off layer 2 by selecting only layer number 1. The cube and sphere located on layer 2 are no longer visible. Now to complicate matters, objects can be on more than one layer at a time. Here I will add Layer 2 visibility to Layer 1 visibility by holding down my Shift key and clicking on the Layer to Number 2 box. I'll select the UV sphere which is currently on Layer Number 2 and press the M key. In the Layer dialog box, I will click the Layer Number 1 box, hold down my Shift key and select the Layer Number 2 box as well. Now the UV sphere is displayed on layer number 1 and layer number 2. Here is layer number 2, 
and here is layer number 1. I will add the layer number 2 visibility to layer number 1 by holding down my shift key and selecting the layer number 2 box. Remember that any new objects added to a scene will be visible on any layer that was active at the time the object was added to the scene. Currently, layers 1 and 2 are active. I will add a torus object to the scene. Now since I added the torus object while layers 1 and 2 were active, the torus object is now located on both layer number 1 and layer number 2. Here is layer number 2, and here is layer number 1. I will add layer 2 to the active layers. Now I'll place the monkey on layer 1, the cube on layer 2, the UV sphere on layer 3, the torus on layer 4, the default camera on layer 5, and the default light on layer 6. I will then turn on all six layers. I'll also move the objects closer to the center. Blender will only render active layers. For instance, here all of the layers are currently active. I'll press F12 to render my Blender scene. Since all of the layers are active, Blender renders all of the objects. Here I will turn off all of the layers except layer 3, which displays the sphere object. I will now press F12 and render the scene. Notice that the sphere object appears black. This is because the default light object is located on layer 6, which is not active. I will add layer 6 to the active layer 3. Now I will press F12 and render the scene. Notice that we can now see the sphere object. I will now add layer number 1, which displays the monkey object, to the active layers. Now I will press F12 and render the scene. Note that both the sphere and the monkey objects were rendered. Also note that the layer containing the default camera, layer number 5, was not active. Blender will render the scene despite having the camera located on an inactive layer. Using Blender Layers allows you to organize, isolate, and render your objects easily and efficiently.